particular task, the disenfranchised people on the street corners of Newcastle upon Tyne, Scotswood area, uh, were invited to develop and create a market research campaign that will compile information and statistics uh, about attitudes in their communities towards sexual health, HIV, AIDS, and self esteem body issues. The young people have written all of these questions themselves. Crack one of these pieces of paper and ask a research question and tell it. Your help in answering these questions is obviously as possible. Help the body services team create an accurate little picture of the current situation in all aspects of our community to affect these young people directly. Now, have you all heard and understood that statement? <laughs> but take that as a yes. Okay. Uh, this gentleman at the front, hello, what's your name? Steve, is that short for anything? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah, I'll move on. Excellent. Okay. So, uh, Steve, I need to ask uh, this question to a gentleman who's 25 to 60. Would you be in that age bracket 25 to 60? You would Okay. You heard me understood the statement I read out. Lovely. I'll push on. Question one is for you. Question one Are ye for real with fucking shoes on? <laughs> Steve, you have to answer this question on a scale of one to five. Where one is equal to, I are given even now, therefore, and where five is equal to, your nout but a cheeky. Five is a popular answer. Right? Very much. Um, the definite lunchables, I'll come back to them uh, in a minute. I'll find another gentleman in that uh, age bracket. It's a, a boring gentleman yeah. today. You don't mind me using that word, do you, gentlemen? It's quite nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, what's your name, sir? Uh, Andrew. Uh, Andrew, lovely. Okay. And uh, Andrew, are you in the age bracket 25 to 60? I used to be. Uh, oh, yes, sorry, I still am. <laughs> It's not too important, as long as I take the box, that's all right. Okay, so uh, question two is for you, uh, Andrew. Lovely. Question two, you look like a proper f***ing retard. <laughs> Are you on pills? <laughs> you have to answer this one, uh, Andrew. Uh, one to five, where one is equal to, this is all. I swallow six E's every Friday, yeah. and where five is equal to lip me and I'll bray you, I'm like Jackie Chan on Wiz. Three. Three. Not a common answer, that one. Uh, number four, got to get this straight, haven't I? Yes, uh, here it is. Um, need another. Uh, the gentleman in the check shirt, hello, what's your name, sir? Michael, lovely, okay. And uh, which of the following three senses represents most accurately your understanding of HIV AIDS? Uh, number one, AIDS is an incurable condition of the autoimmune system. Uh, number two, AIDS got started when a bloke in Cramlington got bumped inside out of a hippie who was on drugs. <laughs> uh, what happened was all of his lungs and everything fell out of his arse. And then the hippie wanted them they had to push them all back up inside using the handle end of a Vaida super <laughs> Or uh, number three, AIDS was invented when a bloke in Hartley Pool. <laughs> Number three. The popular answer actually that one. Okay, now I'll move on to some questions. Well, that's the last question, and then I'm going to go and get the rest of the pack lunch. So Karen Pen. You're in the 25, aren't you? So last question, don't you worry about it, okay. Question three. Is it true that in the number 64 bus stop, Decca Campbell gave you a right good f <laughs> <laughs> one to five? Where one is equal to fingered, I got proper rattled. <laughs> and where five is equal to, I don't even know where the 64 stops. <laughs> I'm sorry, no, I'm not finished. But I don't even know where the 64 stops. I get drilled at the number 10 stop. <laughs> Okay. Well, as I say, I've been married to Ivan from Carcon Minch Beach, and I hope the next time I'm in, think wherever this is, I'm going to stop you and take 14 minutes and 2 seconds of your time. Thank you very much.